Hey, come see us do stand-up comedy in Tempe, Arizona, Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Cincinnati, Lexington, Burbank, and Honolulu. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets. Uh, here we have the Mitt Romney of the left, uh, John Kerry. He's, the, he's also a manufactured stage prop. That's why. <laughs> he's straight out of Hollywood with the, that cartoonish lantern jaw and his soothing all-American voice. He's going to tell you how much he hates the First Amendment and freedom of speech right now, but he's going to do it in a real reasonable, concerning sound, uh, sounding voice, like he's trying to help you. Listen to this. And I think the the dislike of and anguish over social media is just growing and growing and growing. Uh, and it's part of the anguish over social media is growing and growing and growing. Kurt, you know, you mean the ruling the WEF billionaire class? This, yeah. the, you mean the oligarchs anguish over social media because the jig is up. People get to talk back to you now and debunk your bullshit. You mean that? You mean that's what he means? That that anguish. OK. Yeah. Our problem, particularly in democracies, uh, in terms of building consensus around any issue, it's really hard to govern today. Yeah, it's really hard to govern, Kurt, when you can't control how the public perceives you anymore. Back when trusting somebody's appearance was enough. Remember those times? Yeah. Was I supposed to trust him because he looks like a tree? I guess so. <laughs> it's really hard. It's really when you build consensus. You mean consensus around the establishment's narrative. That's what you mean. That's what he means by consensus. Okay. Do you think um, Al Gore regrets inventing the internet now? Aha! <laughs> You can't, you know, you know, there's no, the referees we used to have to determine what's a fact and what isn't a fact, the kind of. It's, wait, let me start this again. And I think the, the dislike of and anguish over social media is just growing and growing and growing. Uh, and it's part of our problem, particularly in democracies, uh, in terms of building consensus around any issue. It's really hard to govern today. It's getting hard to govern today, Kurt, because people can read and say and think what they want. Is that what he's saying? Yeah. That's what he's saying. Yeah. Don't you think maybe it's more a matter of you and everyone you know being at best incompetent and at worst vile mass murdering criminals? Do you think maybe that's it? Yeah, but you're not supposed to know that. You're supposed to just like have, you know, the Telecommunications Act, you know, like. And hey, speaking and speaking of accountability, why is it everything that you've said over the last two decades has never come true and is a lie? Well, yeah, all the green, all the global warming shit that they've said has turned out. I remember it because I was afraid. In two thousand eight, he, he was saying that there's, there's going to be so, uh, some summers without Arctic ice. Never happened. Matt Damon said the polar bears were all dying. That's right. And then he told me to invest in crypto through FTX. <laughs> <laughs> You can't, you know, you know, there's no, the referees we used to have to determine what's a fact and what isn't a fact that kind of, you know, been eviscerated to a certain degree. And um, people go and their people self-select where they go for their news or for their information. And then you just get into a vicious cycle. People self-select where they get their news and information from, Kurt. How dare they seek out their own news sources and not just believe whatever is dumped in front of them by the corporate media? Yeah, How dare yeah. they? they they're a, self, <laughs> are they self-selecting? It's a vicious cycle, Jimmy. They're going to self-select. The next thing you're going to know, they're going to start doing their own research. So it's really, really hard, much harder to build consensus today than at any time in the 45. Yeah, it's what harder. It? It's, it's harder to build consensus when you're the one that's controlling the consensus and we found out about it. Yeah, well, there's a consensus that you suck, John yeah, Kerry. Yeah, and the Democrats the suck. <laughs> it's upsetting you, but it's actually a lot of consensus. That's why they have to fake polls. 50 years I've been involved in this. And, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of discussion now about how you curb uh, those entities. He he wants to curb us like a dog. Curb your dog. I get it. We got to curb those entities. Entities. He means people. Oh, he means people meant? who don't buy their bullshit. That's what he means by entities. And to, we have to curb those entities. Curb your entities. Story yeah. Larry David. Sorry, Larry David. <laughs> uh, in order to guarantee that you're going to have 
you know, some accountability on facts, et cetera. Okay. But look, if people. What accountability? Who is accountable? Who's accountable? Who was ever accountable for the Iraq war? Who was accountable for the stock market crash? Who was accountable for Libya, for Syria, for 20 years of Afghanistan, for Ukraine? Who's the accountable for Israel what? Pulls. What's that? The bullshit Israel pulls what? on a regular basis. Who, who's account? There's no accountability. What are you talking about? Accountability. Who's accountable for COVID? Who's accountable for the vaccine? Who's accountable for all the lies they told about COVID? About the lies about the lockdowns and the lies about the vaccine, the lies about the the Wuhan lab and the virus and herd immunity and natural immunity and masks. Who's accountable for it? There's no accountability. What are you talking about? He's talking about controlling the narrative so that the oligarchs can do what the fuck they want. Well, That's account, what he's account, yeah. He's not talking about yeah. actual accountability. There's never he, been accountability. Yeah. He wants, he means to shut you up accountability. Yeah, well, it, the, in a democracy he's talking about, the accountability is supposed to be in this asshole and every dipshit on the panel is accountable to the people who elect them. Which they hate that. That's what they're complaining about is is there's no consensus because they're being held accountable that's, by people. That's right. So they want that over. Accountability go they all genuinely believe that the, there's the chessboard, the pieces don't know they're the pieces, then there's the players, then there's the game maker who doesn't have to follow any rules. They actually follow that philosophy. That's how they think of it. There there is an accountability in our system. Why could I'll tell you where the accountability is. We have a court system, we have a civil court system. Alex Jones is now being paid the made to pay a billion dollars for him not killing anybody. Who who is who are you accountable for killing in Libya? Who are you accountable for killing in Syria? Who are you accountable for killing in Ukraine and Afghanistan in Iraq? Who are you accountable for killing in Iraq? Alex Jones killed no one. He's got a billion dollar accountability over him. Does Dick Cheney have that? Did Colin Powell have that? Did you have that, Hillary Clinton? Did George Bush have that? There's no accountability for you. This, this I so want to get my hands on him when he says garbage like this. And there's nobody going to stand up and say that. There's nobody at this forum, the WF, that's going to stand up and go, "Who who's accountable for Iraq? Where's that accountability? We got accountability for Alex Jones. Accountability for no one else, for all those lies I just told you about over COVID. Nobody. Rolling Stone and every other magazine putting pictures of people in their winter coats standing in a line outside of a, uh, an emergency room with gunshot wounds while people who are OD'd on ivermectin, which never happened. None of that happened. Where's the accountability for all those lies? Where's the accountability for all the people who lied about ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine? Where's the accountability? He's not. He doesn't want accountability. He wants conformity, and he wants to it's shut you up if you have if you have if you call out their lies, just like they did to Julian Assange. Is that 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 kind of accountability, like what he did to Julian Assange? The only person convicted over the Iraq war debacle, Julian Assange, the guy who told you the truth about it. Well, go to only one source, and the source they go to is sick. And uh, sick, like you mean, like CNN or the Klaus Washington Schwab? or the or Klaus Schwab or the Washington Post or MSNBC or Mockingbird Media. What are you talking George about? George Soros's kid. <laughs> yeah. George Soros has just bought 200 radio stations. You mean you mean that source, George Soros source? Oh, you see Tim Waltz with his hands folded yes. like a little girl. And, yes. Oh. <laughs> you know, has an agenda and they're putting out disinformation. Uh, our First Amendment stands as a major block to the ability to be able to just. No, the first. Uh, the ability to, be, to just lie. For, for <laughs> the government to just lie. Who's the number one emitter of disinformation and lies? It's always the government. Second is the corporate media. And third, a distant third, are randos on social media. So he's talking about how the First Amendment gets in the way of the government lying. He's not talking about the First Amendment's getting in the way of truth. It's getting in the way of your lies. Don't hammer it out of existence. So what you need, what we need is to... What's to hammer it out of existence? So what? when everything... When every problems, uh, when only, uh, when only, when the only tool you have is a hammer, 
Everything's a nail. A every everything's disinformation. Is to win the ground, win the right to govern by hopefully having uh, you know winning enough votes that you're free to be able to to uh, implement change. Uh, now, obviously, there are some people in our country who are prepared to implement change in other ways, and so that's you're where questioning the really mm -hmm. if uh, democracy can survive unregulated I think social I think, media. I think democracies are deep, are very challenged right now. I think it's adorable that he pretends that we live in a democracy. Yeah, what democracy is he talking what, what, about? What democracy? You're talking about our candidates are always hand chosen by the military industrial complex and approved by the, the deep state and Israel. What, what democracy are you talking about? Princeton proved a decade ago that we live in an oligarchy, that our vote don't really matter at all. And when they do matter, it's a big problem, like Brexit or when Trump won. Oh my God. Yeah. Democracy happened. We can't ever let that happen again, which is what they've been doing to Trump since he got elected. That's what Russiagate was. That's what those two impeachments were. That's what January 6th was. That's what 91 felony indictments are. That's what two assassination attempts are. We can't let a democracy happen again. They sit around talking about democracy. Okay. Have not proven they can move fast enough or big enough to deal with the challenges that we are facing. And to me, that is part of what this race, uh, this, this election is all about. Is if we can get control again of the narrative, because if a democracy wins and they, they're allowed to vote for Donald Trump, that's gonna mess up our plans. So the First Amendment, according to John Kerry, stands in the way of getting absolute unanimity on what the truth is. And all you had to do was sell it to us in a reasonable tone of voice from a guy that looks like the anchor man on a Muppet movie show. Ha! He does. <laughs> he kind of looks like Guy Smiley if he was frowning. Is there, is there any more left? His will we break the fever in the United States? Will we break the fever of people expressing themselves at the ballot box? That's what he's I, talking I really, about. I want Trump. The to fever. Put him in what fever? What fever? Yeah. The fever of not doing it. We have to break the fever of people having a different opinion than the oligarchy. Here's what Max Blumenthal said. He said, John Kerry makes it clear the hysteria around disinformation, the censoring of alternative media, and the banning of RT is aimed at forming a pro-establishment consensus. He resents the Constitution, calling it a major block on an information dictatorship. So John Kerry went from defending America in the armed services to becoming an absolute traitor to America in politics. I don't know. You I don't know, know yeah. If I was I a foreign entity and I wanted to hire someone like him to destroy America from the inside while making them think it was their own idea, that's how I would do it. I would hire a guy like that. It's funny you say that because that's what he is. He's skull and bones, just like George uh, W. Bush. Remember, they're, they're not allowed to talk about it. That, that dude from uh, Face the Nation is dead now, Tim Russert. Yes. He goes, tell me about skull and bones. I, I can't, can't talk, talk about, about it. That's exactly what they're there to do. So, we, we, will we break the fever in the United States? Why don't you tell us, considering you're literally strangling us? Maybe that's the only way you can reach an orgasm, John, but I never signed up for that shit. Here's, look at that. Max Blumenthal and RFK Jr. back-to-back -back agreeing on this topic. Look at that. John... RFK Jr. says, John Kerry is correct. The First Amendment does stand as a major roadblock to them right now. Oh, God, I hope he treats the CIA like a whale carcass, RFK. Look, me <laughs> too. Look at Dr. Dr. Jordan Peterson says, I don't know how John Kerry can say such things without bursting into flames. I know, he is made of very <laughs> flammable wood, if you look at him. He's made of dry tinder, that guy. What what do they have? What kind of video do they have of John Kerry doing? I mean, skull and bones, whatever they do there. Yeah, I mean, John Kerry is fucked from the start. None of these people look. They got selected because they're part of the right families and stuff. Like none of that. He's not some like guy that worked his way up and served his country. He's some prick from like one of the finest families, who's by the way probably related to all the presidents. They're all related, by the way. All the people for some reason that 
lead the yeah. country are all related to each other. Is ne- that ne- weird? And the next time we see John Kerry, I predict we're gonna he's gonna be throwing his own sh- shit at the Constitution like a monkey. That's what I and climate protesters are gonna join in, crazy gluing their asses together. Okay, uh, here's one more. Uh, Emergent Perspective says, people need to quit mythologizing the deep state into some invincible juggernaut. Watch this John Kerry clip. He says, it's mostly a bunch of aging boomers who are pounding their fists into the desk because their trillion-dollar media empire is being defeated by your cat memes. I don't know about that. I, I would like that to be true. They're not a, okay. They're not an invincible juggernaut. It's just that um, they have the power to make your life real bad, and they're going to do that up until they lose power. And they're going to do. If you thought Hitler got a little desperate at the end, wait do you see what these fuckers do? I mean, look wait what you see. Look what they did to, like, during COVID. Just look at COVID. Here's uh, here's what Elon Musk says. He says John Kerry is saying he wants to violate the Constitution. That's exactly what he's saying. Yeah, I hear regular people say that. Like, a free speech is not, I don't think that's the most important. A comedian said that to me a long ago. I don't think free speech is the most important thing <laughs> in the world. I, 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 like, I, I almost had a fit. I believe having a substantial percentage of my financial future secured with gold and silver. You know that's true about me. That's why I decided to partner with our sponsor, Colonial Metals Group. They helped me set up a safe and secure self-directed IRA where I have access to my assets no matter what the stock market or, for that matter, what the government's doing. Let the team of experts at Colonial Metals Group help you protect your family's future. We've put together a special offer for our audience. Click on the link in the description below or call 888-910-1419 and you'll receive a safe and up to $10,000 in free silver. Get out of here. Call 888-910-1419. Hey, come see us do stand-up comedy in Tempe, Arizona, Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Cincinnati, Lexington, Burbank, and Honolulu. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets. (laughs) 